Kuwait's relations with Zimbabwe date back to when the Southern African Republic gained independence in 1990. And since then, efforts have been ongoing to boost these relations over the years. Kuwait will always recall Zimbabwe's significant role in supporting the UN Security Council resolutions during the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait in 1990. The Kuwait Fund for Arab Economic Development has also been a key player in financing development projects that have had a major impact on Zimbabwe's economic and social development. Sir Glab has more on the friendly bilateral relations in this report. The state of Kuwait and the Republic of Zimbabwe benefit from cordial bilateral ties. And Kuwait established its embassy in Harare in 1992, and Zimbabwe followed suit on the opposite side four years later. We have met with a number of uh, financial institutions here uh, who have uh, expressed a lot of interest uh, in assisting us in developing a number uh, in a number of uh, areas, uh, you have mentioned health, education, yes, you know, agriculture, uh, infrastructure, uh, and so uh, we will be following up uh, all these contacts that we have established. Our Minister of Finance is here, uh, he has also been very busy uh, meeting various uh, financial institutions here, so we are looking forward to a lot of uh, good work together. His Excellency the President has also received a number uh, of uh, uh, heads of financial institutions uh, here uh, in Kuwait and also in the Arab uh, region. Political cooperation has been ongoing since 1990, during the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait, when Zimbabwe was president of the United Nations Security Council, putting it at the forefront of condemning the Iraqi invasion. On the political and diplomatic f uh, front, we've also had uh, a warm relationship uh, with, uh, uh, with Kuwait. Kuwait, uh, uh, in the 90s, uh, established a diplomatic mission uh, in Harare, and we have a diplomatic mission here, uh, a resident ambassador here. Uh, and as you recall, that during the time that uh, Kuwait was invaded uh, by, by Iraq. Zimbabwe was one of the members in the Security Council and we supported uh, the state Kuwait without any reservations whatsoever. In fact, during the period of the occupation and the war, Zimbabwe was president of the Security Council and by sheer coincidence, I happened to be the ambassador at the time in New York, and I was chair of that uh, uh, of the Security Council during that crucial man month of February, uh, during the, uh, the, the the occupation and the war, uh, which led to the ejection of uh, of Iraq from Kuwait, uh, and of course uh, the role that we played together also helped to bring us closer together uh, as two very fraternal countries. <coughs> so we have enjoyed extremely good relations uh, between our two countries and we are looking forward to even greater things ahead. On the economic level, cooperation has been through the Kuwait Fund for Arab Economic Development, with a number of projects completed under this partnership and more cooperation expected in the fields of infrastructure, energy production food security and mining. The deep history of the bilateral relationship between the state of Kuwait and the Republic of Zimbabwe dates back to the 1980s and this visit was used to promote and strengthen this relationship and further promote cooperation in several fields. From Bayan Palace, this is Sarah Glub reporting for English News.